Hello and welcome to that RC channel. Today we're going to take a look at these axles that are commonly found on eBay and Amazon. They're cheap square ones. The boxy looking ones. A lot of people complain about them. As with any axles, you have to set them up properly. So we had a loose ring gear in there so we took this time now to clean everything out and just to show you guys what we did so we'll remove that and inside here you'll see there's a rear bearing in there and that's what holds the pinion gear so we're going to take the pinion gear and we're going to drop it in and everything right now is going in just wiped down there's no grease on anything yet So the pinion gear is in there. There's a little bit of play in there. But we're going to show you how to get rid of a lot of this play and everything. So once you have the uh, ring gear, I'm sorry, the pinion gear is sitting in there. You want to get the whole axle assembly, tires and all. And if you see these got the little bearings, came with little roller bearings. And if you notice that brass washer that does not come with the set, and we'll explain that in a minute. So we're just going to set the axle down on there and get all the little grooves lined up. There we go. Okay, now that everything's lined up, <clears throat> you'll see that the ring and pinion gear are meshed. Now we've put probably 10 hours or so of hard abuse on this thing and you see we're gonna right there's the grub screw we're gonna let go and it wants to move freely see that just with the weight of the grub screw move it back that's what you're going for and if you spin it it's real quiet now we'll explain this section here in more detail because this is really what you got to be worried about in here because there's nowhere else you can put little washers so you want to check all your clearances and underneath this scrub screw you'll notice that you'll have the little cutout where you can slide this back and forth you're going to want to loosen this and slide it back and forth until you find the perfect spot where you can spin it and there's really no noise. And then snug it back down. Go ahead and put the axle cover back on. And give it a spin. If you see, we'll just hold it on so it doesn't pop off. Everything spins nice and free. Continues to spin both ways. Zero issues. Now, what we did was we went to the store and this is a 2.5 millimeter brass washer. So all we did was just bring this axle shaft with us and went to our local hardware store and got a few of these washers that fit on here. So, the next big thing that you want to do is you want to, after you get everything lined up and good, you want to go ahead and back these screws out and put red Loctite on them. If you're not comfortable with putting red Loctite, put blue Loctite on it. But this little space, this little washer here takes up some of the space so that the axle is not going in and out like this and causing wear on the ring and pinion or improper wear. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten everything down and we're going to drop some oil and everything and then we'll show what type of grease to use. But again, what you're going for is smooth engagement. Just keep doing minor adjustments with this left and right, up and down, till you find the sweet spot. If you have to add some washers, go ahead and add them and it'll rotate smoothly. So we're getting everything locked tight down and greased up. 
Okay, so we put some axle grease in there, wheel bearing grease, automotive grade. It's like a GL5 type. Everything spins smooth still. We did the same thing on the other side of the case. We just put it in everywhere where there's little bearing rides. Everything's Loctited down. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this cover back on. Stretch over the wheels. And everything is smooth. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set the screws in and we'll flip it around and show you what we did on the drive shaft side. All right, we're on the other side of the axle now. And as you can see here, we put another brass spacer there, a little washer. This is the pinion gear. And we did that for a couple reasons. We didn't want the drive shaft rubbing on the, there's a little bearing in the housing back there. We didn't want it rubbing and damaging it. And we wanted to have something that could be a wear point that we could tighten up and pull the pinion forward and back if we needed to with the grub screw on this. So as you can see, it still spins extremely well. It's quiet. So we're gonna go ahead and hook the drive shaft up, get everything hooked up, let it dry, and see how it performs. All right, so we have the axle back together, and as you can see, the little brass spacer in there, all we did was pull the pinion out as far as we could and slid the axle or the drive shaft on there, and now you see there's very little play before it actually starts moving. There's more play in this drive shaft than anything, but there's hardly any play in that rear end now. So that's how we like to set it up, put shims in it, use automotive grease, and everything ends up working out well. We'll go ahead and check it real quick. Pretty good. That's low, that's high. So everything's tight and exactly how it's supposed to be. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.